speaking there to Liam Cochran. You're listening to Asia Pacific, coming to you live from the South Bank studios of Radio Australia. In what's seen as a test case, a prominent and well-connected activist in Vietnam has been sentenced to seven years jail in a trial that lasted less than half a day. Dr. Khu Wee Ha Vu is the son of a revolutionary leader and former minister in the communist government. His personal claim to fame includes suing Vietnam's prime minister in 2009 over a controversial government-run mining project. That and other lawsuits were simply ignored by the courts until recently. It now appears Dr Vu's luck has run out and he'll spend the next seven years in prison, despite a popular following that's perhaps unprecedented in Vietnam. Karen Snowden reports. It might have been luck or his family connections. But Dr Khu Wee Ha Vu, whose parents were close to the nation's hero and founder, Ho Chi Minh, and who has a law degree from the Sorbonne in France, was tolerated despite years of irritating the government. In November, however, he was arrested, and in a trial of about half a day, he was convicted under Article 88 of anti-state propaganda. He had called for an end to one-party communist rule and tried to sue the Prime Minister twice. Phil Robertson, the Deputy Director of the Asia Division of Human Rights Watch, says Dr Vu has close links to the current leadership as well as the past. This is a person who has very close relationships with senior army leaders. Uh, so by trying him, they're really trying one of their own. And that is one of the reasons that there has been such a huge uh, controversy about this case, where someone who is well-connected, someone who is really a member of the revolutionary elite, is being brought up on trial by uh, the government of Vietnam. Well, as one of the media commentators put it, he is pushing the envelope. Vietnam does have quite strict uh, laws and rules against the kind of statements and activism that he is involved with, so he must have expected something like this. Well, he may have, but those, rule, those laws and regulations are clearly contrary to the international human rights standards that Vietnam itself has voluntarily signed up to. They've ratified the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights, which provides clear guarantees for freedom of expression, freedom of association and freedom of assembly. Khu Wee Ha Vu is said to have broken new ground in Vietnam by using the courts to challenge national security laws, corruption, land grabs and human rights abuses. He's not the first to challenge the centres of power or to go to jail for doing so. But Phil Robertson says there's been an unprecedented popular following of the case and he thinks it's the most significant in Vietnam for at least the last five years. Well, there's been a lot of hubbub about this case. There's a lot of information coming out about it. There have been, uh, you know, prayer vigils attended by thousands of persons over the last several days. Uh, the Catholic Church has come in very strongly behind him. The Vietnam blogosphere is alive with information about what's taking place here. Prominent bloggers are, you know, instructing people on how to get to the court, you know, where the public bathrooms are if they want to outside and even where to park their motorcycle. There's also been petitions that we've recently seen signed by senior army generals and colonels. So this is a case that cuts right to the core of the ruling revolutionary elite in Hanoi. And I believe that this is not the, begin the end of a, a process, but this will be the beginning of a process today, that we will see ongoing controversy and ongoing activities connected to this case for uh, some months and years to come. And it has uh, electrified, I would say, the uh, Vietnamese people who are getting more and more of their information on this file and other things through the Internet. What is important is that this is probably the most important case of a dissident, and I, I say that I use that word dissident a, a little bit gingerly here because, of course, he has been uh, very close to the, the ruling elite in that country. Uh, he's saying the things that many people in Vietnam wish they could say themselves, but they're not as well connected as he is. Phil Robertson, the Deputy Director of the Asia Division of Human Rights Watch, speaking there to Karen Snowden.